As construction began on the first Holy Cross Church in 1870, a 28-year-old tannery owner from Old Paid, Germany named Antoine Gustav Nice traveled to the United States to purchase hides in Chicago. Gustav would see firsthand the freedom and economic potential offered in the New World and hope someday to raise his family in America. Anton Gustav Nice would marry Marie Catherine Weber in September of 1886. From that union, nine children were born, five of whom entered the religious life, including the oldest son, Edmund. There was much turmoil in Europe in the early 1900s, and war was on the horizon. Gustav, fearing that his sons would be caught up in the conflict, gave them the opportunity to go to America. In 1910, Edmund, Edward, and Thomas would set sail for the United States. Edmund studied at St. Bernard's in Rochester, New York, and at St. Paul's Seminary in Minnesota, and was ordained into the Holy Priesthood by His Excellency Henry Althoff, Bishop of Belleville, on June 15, 1917. His brother Edward would go into the priesthood as well, and his brother Thomas would become a monk. Father Nice was appointed assistant at St. Rose, in addition to St. Mary's in Carlisle, and oversaw the mission at Beaver Prairie all until 1919. His first pastorate was in 1919 when the bishop directed him to relocate the St. Edward's Church in Keysport to the Marydale site 10 miles away. The new parish was to be called St. Teresa and Father Nice would oversee the moving of the church structure in addition to the building of a school. He would remain in that position until his transfer to the parish of Holy Cross in 1927. At the time of Father Nice's arrival, 56 years had passed since its construction and founding, and the growing Catholic community of Wendell Lynn had outgrown the original church. The parish of Holy Cross now had a pastor suited for the tasks that lay before them. In 1928, consideration began for a new church that would more fully represent and fulfill the spiritual needs of the Wendell Lynn community. The parish trustees appointed a building committee composed of Adolph Ignatius Desch, Killian Effort, Manuel Bierster, William Klingler, Leo Kuhl, John Klingler, Adolf Rudolfi, and Anton Volk. Their first meeting was held in December of 1928. On May 9, 1929, the trustees of Holy Cross would travel to Belleville to meet with Bishop Althoff to secure his approval for the new church. Bishop Althoff gave his blessing. As a result of the committee's work, they soon had funds sufficient enough to finance a new church which given the collapse in 1929 and the financial hardships plaguing the country was an extraordinary achievement. Despite some grand proposals, the parish was determined to build a church that fit its needs spiritually and financially. The contract was let for construction on May 8, 1930, and it called for $39,345, which excluded heating, lighting, hardware, sand, gravel, bricks, cement, and roofing material. The total cost of the new church was just a little over $72,000. In the summer of 1930, while the old church was tore down and construction for a new church began, mass in addition to four funerals was held in the upstairs hall of the school across the street. The funerals taking place during this time were for Mary Gumbel, Isabel Desch, Anton Volk, and Henry Klingler. The casket at each was carried up and down the flights of stairs. Bricks were fired in a kiln across the road from the cemetery. Additional bricks were shipped on a train loaded on wagon and hauled from Dundas. The steel constructs were up before the bricks were laid and completed in mid-October. The church was under roof by mid-November and plastering finished by Christmas. The beautiful high altar originally purchased in 1896, along with many other items from the original church, were preserved and placed in the newly constructed church. A good size comparison of the two structures can be seen by looking at photos of the high altar in both churches. The beautiful new Holy Cross, built in the shape of a Latin cross, was dedicated on the morning of Tuesday, April the 7th, 1931 at 9.30. Forty priests of the Belleville Diocese in addition to Bishop Althoff were present for the dedication ceremony. The only Daily Mail description reads as follows. Today, Holy Cross at Wendell Inn, architecturally beautiful, represents the flowering of early influence on the community by the church. This influence is responsible for the building of an unusually prosperous community, a united, enlightened, and peaceful group of citizens. 
The first wedding to take place in the new church was Dorothy Desch and Lawrence Van Barker. The first baptism was Dorothy Weber, daughter of John and Pauline. The first funeral was for Adam Klingler on April the 9th, just two days after the dedication. In the fall after harvest was completed, everyone available would take their team of horses and wagons to the Dundas Railroad siding to load their wagon with coal. The coal was then taken to Holy Cross where it was unloaded to be burned in the furnace located in the basement. Some additions to the church over the next few decades included a new organ in 1956, a new communion rail in 1963, beautiful stained glass windows in November of 1963, the new hanging lamp lighting in 1965, along with repairs on the roof, sandblasting, and tuck pointing. In addition to the church, other improvements were being undertaken as well. Rural electrification came to Wendell Inn during the 1940s, which brought welcome change to the community. Extensive repairs were made to the rectory in 1941, including the construction of a complete basement under the home, along with the addition of heating and water. Another round of repairs would be undertaken in 1965. The convent underwent repairs in 1945 to accommodate four teaching sisters and a house sister. A water system was installed and the bathroom and basement enlarged. The following year, a furnace with an oil burner was installed to heat the larger home. In 1929, the district school was established in Wendell Inn, and the term usually lasted no longer than four or five months each year. District consolidation took place in 1947, and Wendell Inn became District 91, part of the Clay County Public School System. In 1948, an additional school was built. It would be one of the first post-war schools in the area and was used for the first time in the fall of 1949. It contained two classrooms with two grades in each room, fifth and sixth on the west end and seventh and eighth on the east end. Both rooms had libraries and cloak rooms. The building had a full basement containing two kitchens, storage room, and a dining area. The old school was still used for the other grades. Lavatories, plumbing, and heating were added to the school in 1959 and 1960. After Gustav's death in 1917, Father Nice's mother, Catherine, immigrated to the United States in 1921 by way of a Zeppelin. She would stay with Father Nice as his housekeeper until her death in 1935. She is buried in the Holy Cross Cemetery. In 1952, during the celebration of Father Nice's 25th anniversary as pastor of Holy Cross, a friend and fellow priest, Father Joseph Orlet, who gave the sermon said, not only does he look after your spiritual needs, but also labors for your material requirements. God has been good to you, parishioners of Holy Cross, because you are loyal and devout to your pastor. You may be justly proud of yourselves. In April of 1964, after serving the parish of Holy Cross for 37 years, Father Nice retired. His brother, Father Edward, would also retire around this same time, and they took up residency just a few miles east 
in their beautiful farmhouse located southeast of Wakefield that they had been building and landscaping since 1953. In 1966, a golden jubilee was held at Holy Cross to celebrate Father Edward's 50 years as a priest. The following year, in 1967, a golden jubilee was held for Father Edmund by the parish he served for so long. Tragically, on the afternoon of Tuesday, November 19, 1968, Father Edmund and his brother, Father Edward, were killed as a result of a car truck collision on Route 130 at the Dundas Road. The beloved Reverend Niece Brothers would be buried at Holy Cross Cemetery. At the time of his retirement, Father Edmund Niece had overseen the parish affairs for Holy Cross for over a third of its history. He was their shepherd. He shared in their joys and sorrows. He married the young couples and baptized their children. He buried the dead and comforted the living. <laughs>